Okay, um, this is Chuck Worley, class of 1965. Um, congrats on the honor. Thank you very much. So, um, can you tell us a brief summary of your career? Uh, after reading your bio, your career sounds like a passion. Tell us about it. Well, actually, what I like to tell people is that I was in the Air Force, obviously, for 20-something years, and I was technically trained as a Middle East Area Specialist and an Arabic linguist, or, or technically trained as an aircraft maintenance officer, a munitions officer, and then academically trained as a area <laughs> Middle East Area Specialist and Arabic linguist. Oh. So I basically did a lot of things in the Air Force. That's awesome. But uh, because of that, I was able to spend most of my time in the Middle East from 1974 on, most of my career, plus the rest of my life, has been spent in and around the Middle East. Oh, awesome. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, looking back at, on the time you spent at Pamp ISD schools, what or who do you see the greatest influence on you? What's the greatest influence? At Pampa High School, actually, if, you, if you're talking about it, teachers, I had several of them. Mr. Haley, who was, in, who was a history teacher, uh -huh. oh. and uh, he, uh, world history, and he kind of opened me to what's out there. If you're talking Spanish, <laughs> or it was Bill Haynes, who was my teacher then. Uh -huh. Then it was Mrs. Morgan, who was my Spanish teacher. And I had three years with that lady, and she was very patient. And while <laughs> I was horrible, and you know, I can barely order beer in, in Spanish, <laughs> It taught me how to learn it, That's and because awesome. of that, I learned four other foreign languages in my career, awesome. which is Persian, Arabic, and Czech. Three others. How was that? Like how, like how long did it take you to learn that, those languages? Well, Persian was. I was living there, of course, and so oh, okay. to be effective on the flight line, <laughs> they, <might> yeah. <laughs> while they spoke English, I found out that. I needed to communicate in their language, so I learned their language, which really wasn't that difficult because <laughs> most of the verb endings were regular. So I would go out there, and they'd read the technical order to me, and I'd say, fine, explain it to me in Persian. Okay. And then I would know whether they really understood that English or not. <laughs> the Arabic came from the Air Force because they said, well, we want to make you an Air Specialist. So they sent me to the Naval Postgrad School, where I got a degree in uh, the Middle East. Plus, they sent me to the DLI, which is the Defense Language Institute, for Arabic. And out of that, I got a State Department fluency rating in Arabic. After I got out of the military, I was working with Hewlett Packard, and they wanted me to automate the logistics system of the Czech Army. So in my contract with them, I said, you have to, I have to have a Czech tutor because uh -huh. they didn't speak English at all. Yeah. So I learned Czech in that way. That's awesome. And that took me, I was, I was there for three years, not two years, I had a tutor. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, um, how did this teacher, um, or teachers, help you shape your career path? Although you did kind of already briefly explain that. I think nobody really pointed me toward the military as a career. What they did, they pointed me to the fact that I needed to go out and do something. Yeah. <laughs> and back in those days, the only way I, that I saw that I could get out was the military. Mm -hmm. And of course, we all had to draft. Yeah. And so I took that and ran with it. And my father was out of World War II, as most people were at that time. And uh, that's how I saw my way forward was using the military as a stepping stone. Okay. And I did it successfully, I believe. I, I believe so too. <laughs> I agree on that. <laughs> um, how, how important is it for students to develop a career plan and when should they start? That's a scary question. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Basically, I don't believe that I ever had a plan per se. Mm -hmm. I had an idea. Of what, you, yeah. of what I wanted to do. I wanted to be, a, maybe in the, around the ninth grade, I said, I want to be a professional soldier. And I kind of worked toward that from then on. That's cool. And I would like to have gone to the academy, but I wasn't good enough to get in the academy. So then I said, fine. I went to New Mexico. Mm -hmm. I got an ROTC. And then I went to the military. And when I was there, I just started volunteering and going to the hardest jobs I can find. I probably started that idea around the ninth grade. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> um, when should they put this plan into action? Like, when did you put this plan into action? I believe putting that plan into action, I really started doing that probably when I was in college. College. I got half the way there, and it came with a, a spark of motivation. 
Until then, I was kind of leading the easy life, you know, <laughs> yeah. run along. And then I got this letter, you know, nobody, I was going to be, I was special. Someone's going to pick me out and do something good for me. But I was getting worried. Nothing good was happening, but I was wrong. Uncle Sam was looking at me. <laughs> and he reached back and says, I have plans for you. <laughs> well, I found that, that my logic of the easy life had a fatal flaw. <laughs> Uncle Sam's plans and mine didn't match. Uh -huh. So then... I really started, I was what we call motivated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my spark of brilliance. Okay. <laughs> um, how do you measure success? Success is measured with happiness. I, I can, that's awesome. I mean, it's just measured with happiness. If you're yes. happy, you're successful. Yeah. It's not money. It's not anything but. But if you're happy, your family's happy, you're successful. I agree. That's awesome. <laughs> What is it that you have accomplished that makes that takes the that makes you so per, take so much pride in it? My family, of course. Your family. My family. I've been married for 46 years. My wife has been with me in many of these places that you don't want to know about. And I have two daughters that I'm so very proud of. And it has to be my family. That's awesome. Um, and these are my personal questions. Yes, okay. So, how would you describe your time in the military? I was a professional mm -hmm. in the military, and so I enjoyed my time. Not everything <laughs> in the military. I spent some time in Vietnam, and what happened to me in Vietnam and other people I knew was like yesterday. And I spent time in Saudi Arabia, and I spent time in Iran, and I spent time in Israel and various other places. And all of it is special. And so I think that I found it to be the most satisfactory career a guy could have because I did so many different things and I helped so many people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're working with foreign people yeah. all the time and you're able to, to open their eyes and it's amazing what you can see. That's awesome. Once you decide that America doesn't have all the right answers yeah. <laughs> and any answer you give them, you have to culturalize. Mm -hmm. So when I was trying to help a Saudi, I would Saudiize it. How could I do that? I spoke the language, I knew the culture. Iran, I put it in Persian, I knew the culture. So I knew how to take an American solution, and turn it to their culture, and apply it. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and the last one. What, do you, what are things that you will take from being in the military, that you will take for the rest of your life? Well, obviously what I take is the people that I remember, yeah. and the memories that I hold, because all you can really take away with you are your memories. Mm -hmm. And so I have all of those. I have the good memories and I have the ones that aren't so good. Yeah. But they all make it up. So what yeah. I think <laughs> about are the memories. And it's just not that because I had two careers. I had the military and then I had another career working in the world. And those are all memories that I take. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you for, thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much. You deserve it very much. <laughs> nice nice to meet you. <laughs>